what's up this is Zola and I'm back like hemorrhoids this evening I am going to be introducing a short series of videos which I'm going to be doing um, basically at the moment my aim is to have one video or tutorial out every week and they're not always going to be big tutorials like last week I put out the, the kind of cinema 4D noir scene and that was a major tutorial but I think it's still pretty cool uh, we can't always have big tutorials but um, yeah, this is a new series of videos I'm going to be doing on weeks where I'm a bit busy, like this one, for example. I'm going to be going back home, see my family and friends. So, um, yeah, this. let's just jump straight in. This is, we're in After Effects, and one of my pet peeves with After Effects is that when I am editing, and as I've said before, After Effects is not an editing program, but if I am editing or cutting any video together in here, and um, I'm wanting to synchronize to the audio, just kind of get m things moving with the audio. And um, basically, you mark out your layer. I've already done it for this example, and you can see the waveform, and that's fine when you're lining stuff up. And you're there, you're lining it up, brilliant. And you've got your your little what's happening here on this layer. And but the problem is when you move up. Uh, you can't see that audio anymore, and that's really really annoying. And you can actually put markers on the timeline, you got shift, press shift 1, shift 2, shift 3. In CS3 I think you can go up to 9, maybe 10. Let's have a look. Yeah, 10, 10 markers, uh, I think. And I, in CS4 if you just press the asterisk key with uh, nothing selected, uh, it actually puts up a timeline marker and you can do that also here. In my I think well, I can't remember. Basically, you can do it. Uh, stick a timeline marker basically above your timeline, but it's all kind of messy and whereabouts. So I kind of said to m one of my colleagues at work who I work with, Mr. Byrne, and uh, I said to him, you know, wouldn't it be great in After Effects if you could always see your timeline? I mean, that's one of the things that annoys me most. And uh, we knocked our heads together and came up with a pretty nifty solution, I think. So um, select your audio layer and command shift c or control shift c and uh, pre-compose your audio you want to leave all attributes in whatever the name of your song is so now we have our layer it's still in here it's still part of the composition but it's also in its own and as you can see we we have our markers and they're still there but what we're going to do is going to alt double click into the composition and uh, yeah if I were you I would have marked the song out because you're going to have to mark it out again in its own composition so mark your song out to your beats yeah bring up your waveform mark it out zoom in and then what you're going to want to do is actually grab the top left corner of this and drag it down so you see this kind of blue line and voila look at this we can now if we jump back into our old composition we can now edit and at the same time look at this our marker is actually updating how cool is that I'm gonna make this a bit bigger you don't have to have the, the audio here the kind of audio waveform you can hide that that's fine if you want more screen space as long as you have your markers up and basically no matter where I move in here will kind of relate to where I move on that timeline so if I move to what's this if I just want to move to a point where I know I, I'm going to have a beat, I can just drag it up here, move it to the marker, or uh, jump through the markers, and just basically line yourself up, and it's just a godsend, really. It just makes editing so much easier, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's it. A short one this week, but I think that's going to... Many people are going to find that really useful. If you do have to do any kind of editing in After Effects, I think... Uh, especially if you have to obviously audio synchronization is very important and uh, once you have your timeline marked out sorry your song marked out um, yeah pre-compose bring it up and then you're gonna find this really useful I think so yeah just a short one this week but uh, hopefully gonna be a few more coming and I have quite a few tips like this which um, a little known facts about the program maybe people know them maybe people don't but I'm going to put them out there on weeks when I don't have time to do big tutorials and hopefully people will still learn stuff. So yeah, uh, subscribe, etc. Vimeo, YouTube and my site and I'll see you soon.